Since the start of the coronavirus shutdowns in March, more than 40 million Americans have filed for unemployment benefits. But we may be turning a corner. New York City, the country's epicenter of the outbreak, announced the first steps for reopening. Our lead national correspondent David Begno reports from Lower Manhattan. We think a minimum of 200,000 New Yorkers will be coming back to work. That's the mayor of New York City, Bill de Blasio, saying yesterday that the first phase of reopening the city could begin as early as next week. What's phase one? Construction, manufacturing, wholesale and retail, but only with things like curbside pickup. Not included? The city's 27,000 restaurants, which has left some business owners frustrated. Give us a little something to start with. You don't give us anything. We don't know June, July, August, when? Meanwhile, New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo promised to sign an executive order that will allow business owners to deny entry to anyone not wearing a mask. That store owner has a right to protect themselves. But you have some businesses around the country that are taking the opposite approach, like the Liberty Tree Tavern in Elgin, Texas. There's a sign on the door that says, if people feel that they need to wear a mask, they should stay home until they feel that it's safe. 24 states reported increases in their average new COVID-19 cases compared to two weeks ago, including Alabama, which has more than 5,000 new positive cases of coronavirus in the last 14 days. And in Missouri, where crowds of people went to a Memorial Day pool party at Lake of the Ozarks, we're hearing from one of those participants. His name is Antoine. We had a ball, I'm not going to lie. But when we got back is when everything started happening. He's a forklift operator from Troy, Missouri, who asked us not to use his last name or reveal where he works. People at the party were seen crowding together, many of them not wearing masks. He says he brought one, but he admits he wasn't always wearing it. And now Antoine says he's been asked by his employer to stay away from work and quarantine for 14 days without pay. I wasn't too happy about it. This is definitely going to put a hit on my bills. If I would have known before I had gone to this party that I was going to come back to 14 days no pay, there ain't no way I would have did it. That just sounds stupid on my part for going. If you're surprised to hear that Antoine's company isn't paying him, Antoine says he talked to an attorney who said, hey, listen, you either need to get a test result and then maybe the company will pay you. Antoine said he tried that, but the company, but the testing company said, we're not going to test you for now because you have no symptoms. Or the attorney told Antoine, listen, you need to get a doctor's note approving you to go back to work. Antoine said he called his doctor and the doctor said, hey, that's on you. We're not writing you a note. You went to that party and took that risk. Tony, you can imagine how cases like this might wind up in the court as companies say to employees, stay home and we're not going to pay you. No, you're absolutely right, David. That's a great report and a great reminder as well. Thank you very much.